Gabon, officially the Gabonese Republic, is a sovereign state on the west coast of Central Africa. Located on the equator, Gabon is bordered by Equatorial Guinea to the northwest, Cameroon to the north, the Republic of the Congo on the east and south, and the Gulf of Guinea to the west. It has an area of nearly 270,000 square kilometers and its population is estimated at 1.5 million people. Its capital and largest city is Libreville. Since its independence from France in 1960, Gabon has had three presidents. In the early 1990s, Gabon introduced a multi-party system and a new democratic constitution that allowed for a more transparent electoral process and reformed many governmental institutions. Gabon was also a non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council for the 2010-2011 term. Low population density, abundant petroleum, and foreign private investment have helped make Gabon one of the most prosperous countries in sub-Saharan Africa, with the fourth highest HDI and the third highest GDP per capita in the region. Etymology Gabon's name originates from Gabao, Portuguese for cloak, which is roughly the shape of the estuary of the Como River by Libreville. History The earliest inhabitants of the area were Pygmy peoples. They were largely replaced and absorbed by Bantu tribes as they migrated. In the 15th century, the first Europeans arrived. By the 18th century, a Mayanai-speaking kingdom known as Orang U formed in Gabon. On February 10, 1722, Bartholomew Roberts, a Welsh pirate known as Black Bart, died at sea off Cape Lopez. He raided ships off the Americas and West Africa from 1719 to 1722. French explorer Pierre Savorn and de Brazza led his first mission to the Gabon Congo area in 1875. He founded the town of Franceville and was later colonial governor. Several Bantu groups lived in the area that is now Gabon when France officially occupied it in 1885. In 1910 Gabon became one of the four territories of French Equatorial Africa, a federation that survived until 1959. These territories became independent on August 17, 1960. The first president of Gabon, elected in 1961, was Elia Kuto Nmba, with Omar Bongo Ondimba as his vice president. After Mba's accession to power, the press was suppressed, political demonstrations banned, freedom of expression curtailed. Other political parties gradually excluded from power, and the constitution changed along French lines to vest power in the presidency a post that MBA assumed himself. However, when MBA dissolved the National Assembly in January 1964 to institute one-party rule, an army coup sought to oust him from power and restore parliamentary democracy. French paratroopers flew in within 24 hours to restore MBA to power. After a few days of fighting, the coup ended and the opposition was imprisoned, despite widespread protests and riots. French soldiers still remain in the Camp de Gaulle on the outskirts of Gabon's capital to this day. When MBA died in 1967, Bongo replaced him as president. In March 1968 Bongo declared Gabon a one-party state by dissolving the BDG and establishing a new party, the Parti Democratique Gabonese. He invited all Gabonese, regardless of previous political affiliation, to participate. Bongo sought to forge a single national movement in support of the government's development policies, using the PDG as a tool to submerge the regional and tribal rivalries that had divided Gabonese politics in the past. Bongo was elected president in February 1975. In April 1975, the position of vice president was abolished and replaced by the position of prime minister, who had no right to automatic succession. Bongo was re-elected president in both December 1979 and November 1986 to seven-year terms. In early 1990 economic discontent and a desire for political liberalization provoked violent demonstrations and strikes by students and workers. 
In response to grievances by workers, Bongo negotiated with them on a sector-by-sector -sector basis, making significant wage concessions. In addition, he promised to open up the PDG and to organize a national political conference in March-April 1990 to discuss Gabon's future political system. The PDG and 74 political organizations attended the conference. Participants essentially divided into two loose coalitions, the ruling PDG and its allies, and the United Front of Opposition Associations and Parties, consisting of the breakaway Morena Fundamental and the Gabonese Progress Party. The April 1990 conference approved sweeping political reforms, including creation of a national senate, decentralization of the budgetary process, freedom of assembly and press, and cancellation of an exit visa requirement. In an attempt to guide the political system's transformation to multi-party democracy, Bongo resigned as PDG chairman and created a transitional government headed by a new prime minister, Casimir Oyemba. The Gabonese Social Democratic Grouping, as the resulting government was called, was smaller than the previous government and included representatives from several opposition parties in its cabinet. The RSDG drafted a provisional constitution in May 1990 that provided a basic Bill of Rights and an independent judiciary, but retained strong executive powers for the president. After further review by a constitutional committee and the National Assembly, this document came into force in March 1991. Despite anti-government demonstrations after the untimely death of an opposition leader, the first multi-party National Assembly elections in almost 30 years took place in September-October 1990, with the PDG garnering a large majority, following President Omar Bongo's re-election in December 1993 with 51% of the vote. Opposition candidates refused to validate the election results. Serious civil disturbances led to an agreement between the government and opposition factions to work toward a political settlement. These talks led to the Paris Accords in November 1994, under which several opposition figures were included in a government of national unity. This arrangement soon broke down, however, and the 1996 and 1997 legislative and municipal elections provided the background for renewed partisan politics. The PDG won a landslide victory in the legislative election, but several major cities, including Libreville, elected opposition mayors during the 1997 local election. Facing a divided opposition, President Omar Bongo coasted to easy re-election in December 1998, with large majorities of the vote. While Bongo's major opponents rejected the outcome as fraudulent, some international observers characterized the results as representative despite many perceived irregularities, and there were none of the civil disturbances that followed the 1993 election. Peaceful though flawed legislative elections held in 2001-2002, which were boycotted by a number of smaller opposition parties and were widely criticized for their administrative weaknesses produced a National Assembly almost completely dominated by the PDG and allied independents. In November 2005 President Omar Bongo was elected for his sixth term. He won re-election easily, but opponents claim that the balloting process was marred by irregularities. There were some instances of violence following the announcement of his win, but Gabon generally remained peaceful. National Assembly elections were held again in December 2006. Several seats contested because the voting irregularities were overturned by the Constitutional Court, but the subsequent runoff elections in early 2007 again yielded a PDG-controlled National Assembly. On June 8, 2009, President Omar Bongo died of cardiac arrest at a Spanish hospital in Barcelona, ushering in a new era in Gabonese politics.
In accordance with the amended constitution, Rose Francine Rogombe, the president of the Senate, became interim president on June 10, 2009. The first contested elections in Gabon's history that did not include Omar Bongo as a candidate were held on August 30, 2009 with 18 candidates for president. The lead-up to the election saw some isolated protests but no significant disturbances. Omar Bongo's son, ruling party leader Ali Bongo Ondimba, was formally declared the winner after a three-week review by the Constitutional Court. His inauguration took place on October 16, 2009. The court's review had been prompted by claims of fraud by the many opposition candidates with the initial announcement of election results sparking unprecedented violent protests in Port Gentle, the country's second-largest city and a long-time bastion of opposition to PDG rule. The citizens of Port Gentle took to the streets, and numerous shops and residences were burned, including the French consulate in a local prison. Officially, only four deaths occurred during the riots, but opposition and local leaders claim many more. Gendarmes and the military were deployed to Port Gentle to support the beleaguered police, and a curfew was in effect for more than three months. A partial legislative by-election was held in June 2010. A newly created coalition of parties, the Union Nationale, participated for the first time. The UN is composed largely of PDG defectors who left the party after Omar Bongo's death. Of the five hotly contested seats, the PDG won three and the UN won two. Both sides claimed victory. Government Gabon is a republic with a presidential form of government under the 1961 constitution. The president is elected by universal suffrage for a seven-year term. A 2003 constitutional amendment removed presidential term limits and facilitated a presidency for life. The president can appoint and dismiss the prime minister, the cabinet, and judges of the independent Supreme Court. The president also has other strong powers, such as authority to dissolve the National Assembly, declare a state of siege, delay legislation, and conduct referenda. Gabon has a bicameral legislature with a National Assembly and Senate. The National Assembly has 120 deputies who are popularly elected for a five-year term. The Senate is composed of 102 members who are elected by municipal councils and regional assemblies and serve for six years. The Senate was created in the 1991-1991 constitutional revision, although it was not brought into being until after the 1997 local elections. The president of the Senate is next in succession to the president. Political culture In 1990, the government made major changes to Gabon's political system. A transitional constitution was drafted in May 1990 as an outgrowth of the National Political Conference in March-April and later revised by a constitutional committee. Among its provisions were a Western-style Bill of Rights, creation of a National Council of Democracy to oversee the guarantee of those rights, a governmental advisory board on economic and social issues, and an independent judiciary. After approval by the National Assembly, the PDG Central Committee, and the President, the Assembly unanimously adopted the Constitution in March 1991. Multi-party legislative elections were held in 1990-91, despite the fact that opposition parties had not been declared formally legal. In spite of this, the elections produced the first representative multi-party National Assembly. In January 1991, the Assembly passed by unanimous vote a law governing the legalization of opposition parties. After President Omar Bongo was re-elected in 1993, in a disputed election where only 51% of votes were cast, social and political disturbances led to the 1994 Paris Conference and Accords. These provided a framework for the next elections. 
Local and legislative elections were delayed until 1996-97. In 1997, constitutional amendments put forward years earlier were adopted to create the Senate and the position of Vice President, as well as to extend the President's term to seven years. In October 2009, newly elected President Ali Bongo Ondimba began efforts to streamline the government. In an effort to reduce corruption and government bloat, he eliminated 17 minister-level positions, abolished the vice presidency and reorganized the portfolios of numerous ministries, bureaus and directorates. In November 2009, President Bongo Ondimba announced a new vision for the modernization of Gabon, called Gabon Emergent. This program contains three pillars. Green Gabon, Service Gabon, and Industrial Gabon. The goals of Gabon Emergent are to diversify the economy so that Gabon becomes less reliant on petroleum, to eliminate corruption, and to modernize the workforce. Under this program, exports of raw timber have been banned, a government-wide census was held, the workday has been changed to eliminate a long midday break, and a national oil company was created. In provisional results, the ruling Gabonese Democratic Party won 84 out of 120 parliamentary seats. On January 25, 2011, opposition leader André Mbar Obama claimed the presidency, saying the country should be run by someone the people really wanted. He also selected 19 ministers for his government, and the entire group, along with hundreds of others, spent the night at UN headquarters. On January 26, the government dissolved Mbar Obama's party. O Chairman Jean Ping said that Mbar Obama's action hurts the integrity of legitimate institutions and also endangers the peace, the security and the stability of Gabon. Interior Minister Jean-Francois Rendong now accused Mbar Obama and his supporters of treason. The UN Secretary-General, Ban Ki-moon, said that he recognized Ondimba as the only official Gabonese president. Foreign relations since independence, Gabon has followed a non-aligned policy, advocating dialogue in international affairs and recognizing each side of divided countries. In inter-African affairs, Gabon espouses development by evolution rather than revolution and favors regulated free enterprise as the system most likely to promote rapid economic growth. Gabon played an important leadership role in the stability of Central Africa through involvement in mediation efforts in Chad, the Central African Republic, Angola, the Republic of the Congo, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Burundi. In December 1999, through the mediation efforts of President Bongo, a peace accord was signed in the Republic of the Congo between the government and most leaders of an armed rebellion. President Bongo was also involved in the continuing DRC peace process and played a role in mediating the crisis in Ivory Coast. Gabonese armed forces were also an integral part of the Central African Economic and Monetary Community mission to the Central African Republic. Gabon is a member of the United Nations and some of its specialized and related agencies, as well as of the World Bank, the IMF, the African Union, the Central African Customs Union, Central African Economic and Monetary Community, EU, ACP, Association under the Lima Convention, the Communaute Financière Africaine, the Organization of the Islamic Conference, the Non-Aligned Movement, and the Economic Community of Central African States, among others. In 1995, Gabon withdrew from the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Gabon was elected to a non-permanent seat on the United Nations Security Council for January 2010 through December 2011 and held the rotating presidency in March 2010. Military Gabon has a small, professional military of about 5,000 personnel, divided into army, navy, air force, gendarmerie, and police. Gabonese forces are oriented to the defense of the country and have not been trained for an offensive role. A 1,800-member guard provides security for the president.
Administrative divisions Gabon is divided into nine provinces, which they are further subdivided into 50 departments. The president appoints the provincial governors, the prefects, and the subprefects. The provinces are Estuaire, Oaguaue, Moy and Oguaue, Gunye, Nyanga, Oguaue Ivanda, Oguaue Lolo, Oguaue Maritime, Woloen Tem. Geography Gabon is located on the Atlantic coast of Central Africa, located on the equator, between latitudes 3 degrees north and 4 degrees south, and longitudes 8 degrees and 15 degrees east. Gabon generally has an equatorial climate with an extensive system of rainforests covering 85% of the country. There are three distinct regions, the coastal plains, the mountains, and the savanna in the east. The coastal plains form a large section of the World Wildlife Fund's Atlantic Equatorial Coastal Forests ecoregion and contain patches of central African mangroves especially on the Muni River estuary on the border with Equatorial Guinea. Gabon's largest river is the Oguaue which is 1,200 km long. Gabon has three karst areas where there are hundreds of caves located in the dolomite and limestone rocks. Some of the caves include Grotta du Lastrusville, Grotta du Lebamba, Grotta du Bongolo, and Grotta du Cassipiagu. Many caves have not been explored yet. A National Geographic expedition visited the caves in the summer of 2008 to document them. Gabon is also noted for efforts to preserve the natural environment. In 2002, President Omar Bongo on Dimbap of Gabon firmly on the map as an important future ecotourism destination by designating roughly 10% of the nation's territory to be part of its national park system. One of the largest proportions of nature parkland in the world, the National Agency for National Parks manages Gabon's national park system. Natural resources include petroleum, magnesium, iron, gold, uranium, and forests.